Welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to show you guys a flip through of Horizons Math Book 2. This is still first grade. Um, Monique is still working on book 1. Um, she is going to finish around the middle of October. So if I calculate that, August, September. So she's been working on it for, it's going to be two and a half months. So um, I have calculated everything and I'm pretty sure she's gonna finish this book uh, around the beginning of February after that we are going to work on um, a book in Carson DeLosa I'll talk more about that in another video um, about what she's gonna do after this workbook but yeah let's flip through this one this is just the front of the book the back and I did buy it in Amazon so that's why it says Amazon inspected I love I love horizons like I really do I don't know if I'm gonna continue using this for her because it is a little bit more advanced than I was expecting it it introduces things really really good but also really fast so if you are sorry about the birds if you are thinking about horizons just look at this curriculum look at this flip through I mean and determine whether or not it's right for your child because it is a really fast workbook so here's the first page again I'm not really gonna talk I was just flip throughing still really colorful still really really nice so they at least I think that this is what they mean in lesson 86 they expect your child to already be in January working on this and we will be in November so because we do work on this seven days a week we work, we have we are a full-time homeschool family so that's why we're finishing this a lot quicker than a lot more people i do like that they have tests um for monique because she's the kind of student that i need to see if she's understanding everything that, she, that the curriculum is teaching her where david um they do have tests for the abeka but i don't use them because i didn't buy them i may buy them i may not i really don't know yet but as you see, it's still really fun. Something that made me a little bit concerned was this lesson, which is lesson 97, measurement liquid. Um, so they explain here, you know, this is an ounce, this is a cup, a pint, a quart, and a gallon. But then in the next lesson, they already want the child to like, what's it called? Um, connect, the, connect it to the picture. I'm a little worried that she won't catch up, that she won't understand this so she will have a hard time with this one that's the part that I'm a little bit concerned about from flip through this book a little bit I haven't flipped through it too much I just exactly what I'm doing now that's what I did a lot of people may think that this is a lot because literally this is a lesson plus this a lot of people may think that this is a lot to do for a child in math um, but this is the only thing we do in math she does a lesson a day and then we're done with math so I don't know how many pay lessons this has. I will have to look through it. One second. I'll let you know when I'm done with it. So this is what it goes over. I bought this in Amazon like I mentioned. Um, and fun fact. You can get this in um, christianbook.com and also in Rainbow Resource. But I had an Amazon gift card and I didn't want to just leave it and not spend it. So I decided to use it. And... If you buy this book new in Amazon, it will cost you around thirty dollars, right? Um, but I went into the used section in like so the book you can also buy a used, and they have different uh, options. They have an option of um, the book is good, the book is very good, the book is almost new, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This one is very good, and as you see, uh, oh sorry and this book cost me $18 and as you see it has no writing no scratches nothing on it I recommend doing that when you're looking for curriculum just look in Amazon in their use section and press the very good um, option and it's a lot cheaper than buying it you know new because a lot of the time you can get what I got an untouched book so we're gonna continue a lot of addition as you see a lot of it a lot of subtraction like in literally every page they have that also a lot with money and time what was I saying oh 
Um, so yeah, I'm only worried about that at the moment. She's picking things a lot faster. Like in the beginning of the first book, um, she was struggling and she wasn't liking it. But now I asked her, I asked her today, um, is she liking her math book? And she says she is. And she says one of her favorite subjects is math. Even if she struggles a, a little bit with it. Like right now she's struggling only with um, time because time is a complicated thing to teach to a child. Especially the way that time is. Um, in this book is a little bit more difficult to understand, but she's picking it up really good and she's able to do this um, like 80% independently. There are certain times where she needs help. Um, but yeah, let's continue. So right now we're in lesson 146. I also do like that it's colorful. Do I plan on using this for second grade? I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I'm going to wait for her to finish this book and see whether or not she did, she, if she um, understood. If she had a difficult time, then I will look into another curriculum. Um, but if she, you know, she did pretty good. She's, she hasn't failed any of the tests that they gave in this curriculum, so that's a good sign. Um, but if, let's say that she does not do good in this book, I am going to be switching her to a more of a mastery workbook, um, either Saxon or Math, not Math, you see, um, Saxon or Abeka. Abeka is not a mastery curriculum, but I think that Abeka, it does go a lot slower compared to Horizons. I do know about Abeka because David uses Abeka and I have noticed it. So, okay, this is the last lesson. Sorry again about the birds. And there is 160 lessons. So there's 80 in the first book, um, in book one, and 80 in the second book, and it, this doesn't count the test that it has as well. So that's pretty much it. This is the flip through of Horizons Math Book 1 for Grade 1. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.